Galileo had spent half a lifetime trying to prove the Earth moves. Now, he would come to terms with something much more basic, the mathematics of motion itself. But motion is hard to measure. It all happens just a bit too fast for you to see what is going on. Galileo hit on this wonderful idea of slowing down the motion, so instead of trying to watch a thing falling, he rolled balls down very gentle slopes so that the speed built up very, very slowly. Galileo reasoned that as balls rolled down slopes, they would accelerate, just as they did in free fall, but more slowly. As a young man, Galileo had designed a very accurate inclined plane, one of the most important pieces of experimental apparatus in the history of science. Galileo left behind no plans for his inclined plane, but based on his experimental notes, Professor Roberto Caparelli is using what he believes to be Galileo's original design to discover how he was able to accurately measure acceleration. Galileo studia il piano inclinato con Galileo studied the inclined plane, slowing the motion of falling bodies until he was able to observe the phenomena. He was able to measure exactly how fast a ball would roll, timed with the swing of a pendulum. Galileo was sure that the steady acceleration must be governed by a mathematical rule. So he takes this very gentle inclined plane and he lets the ball roll down and he watches how that ball speeds up and he measures how far it goes in a certain time and then he makes his first empirical discovery that if in the first unit of time it goes one unit of distance in the next unit of time it travels three units of distance and in the next five and then the next seven